So this last week, Elon Musk and his team at Tesla unveiled the first Model 3. Now what stands out about the Model 3, of course, is this is the world's first semi-autonomous vehicle that is mass market, and it's also, maybe more importantly, an electric vehicle. This is really set to stir things up. So is Elon Musk the next Steve Jobs, or is it gonna be a whole lot more? Of course, he has big ambitions in terms of changing the world's reliance on fossil fuels, and even ambitions to go to Mars. Let's dive in. From Auckland, New Zealand, and in partnership with Gorilla Technology, your three minutes with host Paul Spain starts now. Business and technology commentator. Technology expert Paul Spain. So who is this Elon Musk? Well, we know he was born in 1971, moved to North America in 1989, and it wasn't too long before he founded eggs.com that became PayPal and ultimately sold for $1.5 billion. So he's got a history of doing fairly well. Since then, of course, he's launched a number of other businesses and they've generally been incredibly successful. So let's look at each of those. What are these companies? Well, SpaceX, groundbreaking company, working out how to recycle rockets and they've been quite successful in doing so, recovering these used rockets that in the past, every space launch has needed new equipment other than a few exceptions such as the space shuttle. Well, SpaceX has changed that. They've also got some very ambitious plans going to the moon in 2018 uh, with a flyby and then future plans for going to Mars. What else? Well, there's Neuralink, which is a company that's working on a brain computer interface. That's right, hooking up brains uh, to technology. And well, hopefully this isn't something that goes too far down the matrix track, but very interesting all the same to see what's coming there. And then there's Solar City. Well, Solar City now has merged in and is part of Tesla, uh, but a company that's been very successful in building solar cells and, of course, hooking these up to Tesla batteries in recent times. Uh, so, Elon Musk is someone who is really going places, groundbreaking things in the past and no doubt in his future. And then, of course, there's the boring company. No, I'm not talking about a company. Uh, that's dull and boring. I'm talking about a company that is drilling underneath cities. So they've already started in Los Angeles to try and make a quicker route to the airport. The next thing for the boring company is a Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system between New York and Washington DC. So there are risks on getting on board with Elon Musk's visions. Well, sometimes he certainly sets deadlines that seem a little lofty and he doesn't always manage to have his teams deliver on those deadlines. But in general, he seems to be getting there and innovating, delivering some really incredible technology, some really incredible results that are quite different from what others in the market are doing. So I think you can have a fair degree of confidence in many of the things that Elon is talking about. And certainly when it comes to the new Tesla Model 3, uh, I think there's a lot to like here. So what are the standout things about Tesla's Model 3? Well, for me, it's that it is a semi-autonomous vehicle that is going to be updated over time to become fully autonomous for those that order that option. It comes in at a starting price of US $35,000, uh, and it's already been mentioned that there are some 500,000 initial uh, orders or people have put deposits down now. Some 60,000 of those have canceled uh, those orders and it is gonna take some time to deliver these initial vehicles. So there are uh, people that, uh, for instance, say in uh, countries like UK, Australasia, uh, India and so on, where their right-hand drive vehicles aren't going to be shipping until at least 2019. So a bit of a delay there and a delay for, for other people because it's going to take some time to ramp up the manufacturing. Of course, the Model 3 is an all-electric vehicle, 220 uh, or 350 kilometer range on the base model, so pretty capable. Um, overall, I think this is an exciting vehicle. 
I think it's gonna spur on a change, this move away from traditional combustion engine vehicles uh, to the more environmentally friendly electric vehicles, uh, certainly more environmentally friendly in some markets such as New Zealand where most of the electricity is generated from renewable means today. The other thing that stands out for me is that all of Tesla's vehicles get continuous software updates. So most car manufacturers will make a car and sell it and then they'll come up with some new software, some new changes. Most of those innovations go into the next model. You have to sell, get rid of your older model to take advantage. Tesla have taken a different approach and they're continuing to do software updates uh, for older vehicles. So very, very positive. So I think Elon Musk, look, he's doing some great things uh, for us and for the planet. Very exciting things ahead, but let's watch this space and see just how well he does. Thanks for joining me, I'm Paul Spain. You can follow my future updates at paulspain.com slash updates.